Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Morfides. I am a certified life coach and a wellness counselor. I operate my little business called Mending Hearts Counseling where I help people literally mend their hearts and heal their wounds and remember that they are limitless and they are born with unlimited potential to experience anything that they want in their life so by shedding unhelpful core beliefs that we have acquired along the way will get us back to that place where we are whole and complete to begin with and have the knowing that we can achieve and we can do anything in this life so without further ado we're going to dive right into this topic of today's video which is viewer requested actually and i'm so thankful and grateful for this beautiful soul that reaches out to me when they start to feel uncomfortable feelings in their relationship and in this particular case the uncomfortable feelings were feelings of anxiety so when i heard that they were experiencing feelings of anxiety i really wanted to understand what the core belief is behind that anxiety because we're not born to feel anxiety and or fear anxiety comes from the anxiety is a feeling that stems from the emotion of fear and we're not born to be we're not born with fear. We're actually born with just pure, unconditional love. A baby is pure love. It is unconditional love for itself and for those around it. And fear is something that we acquire just throughout our life by the society around us. And it's almost unavoidable these days. So I wanted to understand where the fear was coming from. So when I gave them my list of core beliefs and these core beliefs are not just mine and it's a generalized worksheet of core beliefs that are universal to the world so out of that list the one core belief that resonated the most with this beautiful person was i am not in control or sometimes they can say i am out of control so whether so so meaning is that you are not in control of your situation. So these are the particular words that stuck out to me the most, which are not knowing the future really scares me. And knowing that the future is out of my control, especially makes me anxious. This is why I respond anxiously to my partner because I am not in control of their actions and what they do. And this is when, and this is where, not when, well, this is, this is where and when we're going to empower this beautiful soul and everyone else that is experiencing this to know that you are actually always in control. You are the co-creator of your life. You create your life experience each and every day. So this core belief of I'm not in control or I am out of control of my future or my relationship or my job or my anything is a thousand percent false. We are always in control. Let me say that again. We are always in control. We are co-creators of our reality. Our personality creates our personal reality. The law of assumption is exactly this. What you assume about yourself and the people around you is what is going to play out in your life. What you predominantly think of and assume about yourself and your environment around you will create your reality. This is how the world works. And that's why there's so many limit. There's so many unlimited realities for people to have so if i'm sitting beside someone who has a core belief i am lovable and my core belief is i am unlovable if we have the same experience with a person who perhaps maybe was a little bit short with us my lenses of perception would would shape that reality to be oh this person doesn't like me whereas the person next to me that has the lens of perception of i am lovable will probably view the situation as oh that person seems to be um upset or something's going on i wonder if they're okay 
completely different perceptions of the same situation, but leads to a completely different reality. So this is what happens in relationships as well. So if you start to feel anxious and you have fear, I would love to understand what your core belief is that is creating this to begin with. So now I can empower my person to remember that they are always in control. We are the co-creators of our life. And how do we do that? How do we help create or source energy, the universe, to help us create our life? We do this by knowing and being in control of our thoughts and our emotions. So when that thought creeps in of that, I am not in control, then you do your affirmations that, yes, I am always in control. And how are you always in control? Because you know the things that you assume about yourself is what is going to play out in your life. The things that you predominantly assume about yourself. So I would, if this was coming out for me, then I would start to do the work of how I would envision myself to be in a relationship because I create my partner to be the version of myself that I want them to reflect back to me. So I have nothing to be anxious about. Um, feeling anxious may have been something that I have had in the past due to this circumstance. So pinpointing the exact moment experience where you acquired that insecurity from in the first place is also really helpful because that also is a great reminder of this conditioning came from that situation but just because that situation took place does not mean that I'm going to call that same situation and again it's just coming up for me so I can heal it so I choose to be full and whole within myself I choose to have the core belief that I am always in control. I assume that my life is created based on my own vibration and my own energetic field. And how do I control my energetic field and my vibrations? I practice meditation. I do my affirmations. I do my gratitude. So I do my gratitude about the things that I am grateful in this relationship. I do my gratitude about the other wonderful things that I have going on in my life. I do my gratitude about, so you envision yourself to be thankful about your person, how you want them to show up for you. I am so grateful that my person, my person shows up for me a hundred percent of the time. I am so grateful that my person person is always able to hold me my feelings. I am so grateful that I always feel so secure with my person. I am so grateful that I know that if my person is making me feel insecure, that something within me is creating that experience to rise through them. So I am always in control of that because if I tweak that core belief that my person is going to be making me feel safe again, no one makes me feel anything that I don't allow. People make us feel things that we allow them to make us feel and we allow them to make us feel this way because we're supposed to have that emotion come up for us so we can heal it. So it's actually a gift. So you thank that person for bringing that forth and you don't put the work onto them to make you feel secure. You do the work within yourself, with your affirmations, with your meditation, with your gratitude, you raise your own vibration. You remind yourself that you are lovable. You are worth it. You are worth someone to show up for you. You are worth someone to make you feel safe and secure. You are worth for someone to, to love you and to be with you exactly as you imagine them to, exactly as you imagine them to show up for you and have no doubt about it. If you have doubts that you are worthy or good enough, then unfortunately you're also going to experience that too. So have the knowing that yes, you deserve it. You are worth it. You are always in control about how your partner shows up because you are always in control of your own emotions and your feelings. And you're always in control of your own vibration. And now we know you can raise it with meditation, with affirmations, 
with gratitude. You can journal. You can literally write out scenarios. You can script the life that you want to envision with your partner. You are always in control. You are co-creating. You're the co-creator of your life. So knock that core belief out the window that I am out of control. That is not true. Because it's easy to when your partner arises those feelings from within you, but then you just go back to doing the work. And that's, and that's, I don't want to say that's all that it is because it's not all that it is. Sometimes it feels daunting to be keep doing the, the work, but either way, you're going to be thinking about something. So why do the work to continue to be in an anxiety and, or do the work to stop the anxiety and remind yourself that you are in control? So either way, you're going to be expanding, expediting energy. Why not expedite energy in a way that is more expansive to who you are and who your soul is, which is unlimited, um, unconditional, just, yeah, like whole and full of love, not fear, not anxiety. I hope that this video made sense. I hope that you have found this to be helpful. I hope that if your core belief is I am not in control or I am out of control, that this is a great reminder that yes, you are always in control. Maybe when we are children, we're not in control of what goes on around us, but from the ages of 12 and on, we are in full control. And especially if we're 24, and over, now we're no longer an adolescent, we're an adult and our brain has the full potential to interpret the world exactly as you want to interpret it and you're not counting on somebody else. You are full, you are in full control of what happens to you. You are in full control of how your partner shows up for you. So if you have anything that is showing up for you that you wanted to tweak a little bit, uh, understand a little bit, shift a little bit because it feels challenging and it doesn't feel like how you would want to ideally feel, please reach out to me. I I have created a link now where people can actually click and create an actual one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. If this is what you want the route to go, this if this is the route that you wanted to go through, or you can just reach out to me uh, in the comment box below. I'm happy to answer it in any way possible. It's, yeah, I don't, I uh, basically what I'm trying to say is I don't need you to have a paid session with me in order for me to respond to what is perhaps holding you back from experiencing a relationship in a space where you feel free of anxiety and insecurities. Um, if you found this video helpful at all, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm at 200 subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, I know my son made fun of me last, when was it? When I had 25 and he's like, you only have 25, but now I have 200 and I'm so grateful. I am so grateful for everything. Um, yeah, so I'm sending tons of gratitude and love your way and I will see you next time.